Hey everyone, this is Frank here, and thanks for tuning in to Die Hard RC Addicts. Today I just wanted to put out a quick video on a plane that I'm working on. Um, this is the concept drawing here that I had Paul draw up for me. Um, it's a plane that I just thought up, and it's kind of like a cross between a, a GB and maybe a little bit of pylon racer in it from the shape of the wing. It's got a KF2 airfoil on it, and it's going to be a full four channel radio setup, so it'll have uh, ailerons, elevator, rudder, and throttle control. And these are all the pieces. I've already got them all cut out. It's going to be made out of foam board and just covered with colored packing tape. Here's the main wing assembly and it's the main wing and the rear horizontal stabilizer all put together as one piece. Um, I've got the electronics already installed in here. I got all four of the servos on the plane already. The speed controller and the motor is just mounted with the stick mount for right now. Um, later, if I do decide to uh, make plans for this, I may change the motor mount system for it. Um, like this is something that I had laying around and was quick and easy to do, so it's just for testing purposes. And then on the bottom side of the wing is uh, where the receiver mounts, and the battery will go in front of the receiver. Um, let me go ahead and slip all the pieces together so you can get a quick look at what it's going to be looking like. Alright, this is just a quick look at what it should look like. Um, it's just put together. Um, I haven't glued it or anything. I just wanted to assemble it so you guys can see what it looks like, kind of. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the assembly here pretty soon, and then I'll give you another look at it when it's all complete. I will be putting a spinner on the front, too, to make it look a little bit better in the front. Um, right now, it's just got the prop adapter on there, but I do have a spinner that will go on there. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get the plane together and then I'll show you guys again what it looks like when it's done. Alright guys, I got the plane all fully assembled here and this is just a quick look at how it looks now that it's all put together. Um, we're going to be getting ready here to head out to the field and do the maiden flight. Um, but let me go ahead and show you the inside of the plane a little bit more and where the battery goes and what we got as far as the power system. Okay, let's go ahead and go over the power system. For right now I have a Supo 2212 6 motor in here. It's rated at 2200 kV and it's turning the APC 6x4 sport prop. We're going to be running this on Rhino 1350 milliamp 30C3 cells and the ESC that's inside the plane right now is a Turnigy Trust uh, 45 amp ESC. It was one that I had laying around. You could probably get away with a 30 amp ESC as I did a watt meter and this power system was only pulling 27 amps at about 318 watts of power. Um, the plane weighed in at just around 16 ounces, just a hair over, so less than 17 ounces for sure. And I'm thinking this should be plenty of power for the plane. Um, if I calculate it right, I think it should be putting out about 30 to 32 ounces of thrust. So it's about a 2 to 1 power to weight ratio. Um, and with the prop speed being around 90 something miles an hour. So it should move pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and flip the plane over so we can see the hatch cover for where we put the battery in. All right, I just made a simple hatch cover for the plane. Cut out the section here, and it's hinged with a piece of tape so that we can open it. And the battery just slides into the front and is held in with a piece of Velcro. There's some Velcro on the inside of the fuselage too. So you can slide the battery uh, back and forth to adjust the CG and then stick it down to the Velcro. And then when you're done, you plug in the battery. Close the hatch and tape it shut and you're ready to fly. Alright guys, we're out at the park and we're ready to do the maiden flight. I haven't really come up with a name with this uh, little racer plane yet. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions, uh, put them in the bottom in the comments down there. Um, I'm, for right now, I'm just going to be calling it my uh, Die Hard RC Addicts racer plane. So uh, it's plugged in, we're ready to go. Let's see how it goes, man. Got going on there, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. The glue busted off when I did that nose in, so we uh, stuck a zip tie on here to hold it in place. Yeah, we probably forgot to bring glue out here, but yeah, we're determined to fly. So I'm gonna give them the prop off my man. Uh, we're diehards, man. Nothing play. stops us from flying. <laughs> so this is like a MacGyver thing going on here, man. <laughs> MacGruber, maybe. <laughs> okay. 
I uh, just got to swap the prop out. I don't know, it feels pretty good. Okay. It might not come out. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, here goes attempt number two. Ready, ready Paul? Yeah. You get a good Bam! Yes. All right, guys, Dom wasn't sure she got that footage or not, but uh, I don't know, it was like super pitchy, and I didn't know if I overcorrected or undercorrected or what, but it went up and then it went down and then it rolled and then it went into the ground again. So uh, the zip tie held, but the piece of wood that's holding it in there <laughs> broke loose. So uh, the MacGyver thing didn't work too good today. So I'm going to have to take it home and uh, do some repairs and then get it back out again. Sorry, man. I was hoping the maiden flight would have went a little bit better. I've got the plane back home now, and I've had a chance to sit down and look at the little bit of flight video that we did get. Um, I did notice that the plane was wanting to climb as soon as I threw it, and it was also wanting to turn to the right. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe I might have had a little bit too much uh, prop angle into the motor um, to try and counter the torque of the motor and it was causing it to want to turn to the right. Um, so I'm thinking when I put it back together I'm going to probably take some of that angle out of the motor, make it a little bit more straight and maybe put a little bit of down thrust in it. So I'm thinking as soon, I could see as soon as I threw the plane that it wanted to climb straight up and it was wanting to roll, or not roll, but turn to the right. So because of that, I'm thinking it was because of the angle of the motor and not having any down thrust in it. So I'm thinking when I go ahead and put it back together, I'll straighten out the angle on the motor. I think I had just, you know, maybe two or three degrees too much. I was, it was pretty much probably about four or five degrees angle in it. And I was thinking because it was such a small plane that it needed a little bit more. But... I guess that was a little bit on the wrong side. So let's live and learn on that. So I'll probably set it at maybe one or two degrees angle on it this next time. Um, and I'll probably have to rebuild the front end of the plane a little bit. The rest of the plane doesn't look too bad. I'm surprised it held up as good as it did because I did nose it in twice. And the footage on the second one wasn't that great. Um, we had Dom film it because um, I wanted to have Paul throw the plane so I could have both hands on the stick to see if it was any better. But it was still it just was flying pretty crazy so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do some repairs on the plane here and hopefully we'll be able to get it out again next weekend and maybe <laughs> I'm hoping the next flight will go a lot better so anyway guys I just want to say thanks for tuning in and stay tuned because we will be doing more flight video with this plane as soon as I get it fixed up so thanks for tuning in to Die Hard RC Addicts and I'll see you guys again next time